I want to share with you how to attach crinoline to your peplum, skirt, your flare sleeves, whatsoever you may think of. You are definitely welcome to Olives. Do stay tuned and let's learn together. I have my off shoulder bodies here which I'll be attaching my peplum to. The focus here is crinoline and this is my I have like four years and this is also my peplum cut and joined all out the only part i left was the zipper area i joined it up to where my zip will stop if not knitting the rough edge of the crinoline can pass through the fabric and choke the wearer so it is best to knit in so i have a piece of fabric here that i've cut about one inch and i'm just going to use it to bind the edge So I'll place it this way. Let's get to the machine. I'm going to stitch just the edge about quarter inch. And then I'll fold it this way. And I'll fold again. I'll move on to top stitch. So this is how to bind the edge of the crinoline. So let's start by attaching it to the hem of the peplum. I'll lay the crinoline right at the edge together with the peplum. That's the hem of the peplum and I'm just going to pin for you to see. And when I get to the machine, I'll stitch about quarter inch. Also, I started by placing the crinoline from the right side of the peplum. In case yours ends while stitching like mine, you can bind the edge again, like I said, and then just overlap it and continue stitching with your quarter inch. After stitching, I like to re top stitch where I overlapped so they can become one piece. When I get to the end, I'll simply overlap it again and back stitch. You should have something like this. Okay, we started from the right side, right? So next is to flip the crinoline towards the wrong side or to the wrong side like this. And then we are going to top stitch. So again, from the right side, you stitch quarter inch and turn it over to the wrong side and top stitch right on the edge of the crinoline. So far so good, this is how it looks like. Since I'm yet to attach my zip, I did not top stitch where my zip will be fixed. Okay, I left that space, I mean the crinoline, so that by the time I attach my zip, the edge of the zip will go into it and I can finally top stitch, okay? So I'll move on to pleat my peplum to the bodies and also fix my zip. Peplum attached, zip also fixed and this is how the top looks like. The next thing now is to top stitch, finally top stitch the opening I've left. This is how it finally looks like after top stitching. I hope you learned something from this very short tutorial. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy learning with me, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.